if you guys have been playing with the Pipico, I added some buttons and stuff and I was able to, you know, press buttons and make that blink and stuff. But there's only so much you can do with buttons and LEDs, so I, I thought I want to draw something, but too lazy to go downstairs in the cold basement looking for <laughs> screens and hooking it up. So I just start playing around and I get an idea. This is what I've been telling people who, who couldn't find ideas. Just fool around because like what happened is like I was playing with the uh, HID, Human Interface Device, that basically allows you to uh, make this into a USB device like a mouse or a keyboard. And so that's what I did. I turned this into a, a mouse and then I make calculations in here. Well, let me just show you. I'm going to press this button and let me show you what happened on the screen. So this is just a regular dumb paint program. So I'm going to move the mouse to the center here somewhere. Check out what happened when I press this. <laughs> so he is making all the calculation for the Ford program. And then he actually pressed the mouse button. Well, he is playing the mouse. Basically, he plays, press the mouse button and then move the mouse and then release the button and then press the mouse button, draw, move the mouse and release it again. Um, to draw something actually is a, a little tricky because the move mouse button only knows about moving relative. You know, like when you're moving a mouse here, you can't say go to coordinate whatever. You have to actually move it like so many pixels up or down and stuff. So the code actually have to keep track of where the mouse was to, to move it around. But as you can see, it works pretty good. And so I could actually change things around like a larger brush and maybe change the color. So now if I just pick a spot somewhere, I could press the button again. And now it draws with thicker lines and uh, in different location. So yeah, basically every time I press the button, it will draw that wherever. So I'll press the button again, it throws it. Well, yeah, that's another thing. It's like, you got to be careful with this because it's just blindly clicking and dragging mouse. So if you end up, you know, in another program, uh, you could potentially drag something onto the trash can. So <laughs> be careful if you end up playing with this.